Good, well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Tim and Tammy time. We're at Park Hill Cemetery looking for the grave of Mr. James Scarborough Gordy. And I got another story to tell. We'll be back in just a minute when we find it. All right. So today we're going to do this story just a little bit different. If you've ever heard of the well, it's a documentary. It's, it's been made into a movie. A Haunting in Georgia is a documentary on the Discovery Channel, I think. And then the movie was A Haunting in Connecticut Part 2, A Haunting in Georgia. And I don't know the connection because I've never watched the movies. But we're not going to talk about the people who were alive, who were involved in A Haunting in Georgia. In 1989, a little girl was born. And her and her parents, they, well, four years later, her and her parents moved into uh, a house in Ellerslie, Georgia. They got their first house. The little girl, her name's Heidi, she was four years old. And the, a man came to her house one day and he started talking to her and asked her if she wanted to go and swing. And he said he wanted to be friends. And he was nice and she liked him. She went in, she told her mama about him. And her mama, didn't really think much about it. They worried a little bit about somebody, you know, a grown man talking to the child. But anyway, they just watched her closer and they started realizing that she was walking around looking like she was holding hands with somebody and talking to somebody, but there was nobody there but her. So they decided she had an imaginary friend. And this imaginary friend, she said, was called Mr. Gordy. Then she told them later that another man had come and one of his hands was bandaged up and he had on his blood his t-shirt had blood on it and his hand was bloody where it was bandaged up and her this this upset her daddy and he thought that somebody was trying to abduct her and he went all over the place looking for whoever it was but you know he didn't find anybody and she called this man con and later on they decided that mr that, that mr gordy and con were both just imaginary friends that she was just having conversations with imaginary people. But then the mama started to wonder if this person was named Con Gordy. So she started asking neighbors and other people if they knew a Con Gordy in the area. Well, nobody did. But her sister bought the place next to her and she came over and she was showing her the paperwork on the house of a previous owner, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, listed on there as the executor or a previous owner was James Scarborough Gordy. And this made the mama think, well, you know, this is strange. So then they went to the neighbor on the other side to find out if she remembered Mr. Gordy. And she said that she did remember Mr. Gordy. And then she brought out a box of pictures of her family, thinking maybe, maybe they'd find a picture of Mr. Gordy. She said she didn't believe they had any, but looked through it. And Heidi was looking through it. And when they got to the bottom of the box, she had not, she had not recognized anybody but when they got to the bottom of the box there was a small picture there and she said that right there that's con and the lady who owned this property the woman who remembered mr gordy she said well honey that is my uncle lon and my uncle lon he died in 1956 his hand was cut off in a cotton gin accident right there in ellerslie georgia before he was 20 years old so this really made the, made the little girl's mama get distraught and she called in the help of a parapsychologist. His name was Dr. Roll, R-O-L-L, -L, Dr. Roll, Dr. William Roll. Sometimes he was called Bill, Dr. William Roll. And Dr. William Roll had found some, he'd gotten some pictures of Mr. James Gordy, who lived in Columbus, not far from where I live. <laughs> And he uh, was a real estate agent, and he taught. He didn't teach Sunday school, but he was the superintendent or whatever, the person over the Sunday school teachers in the groups in the church in Ellerslie, the Methodist church there. So the, this, this continued to go on, but they didn't really worry a whole lot about it because she wasn't having any, uh, there was no ill effects or no ill will. These were two kind spirits that were friends of hers. When her mama got pregnant with her baby sister, that's when it all changed and it became a dark haunting and they had all manner of problems. But what I'm showing right here is the grave 
and I don't see, I don't know how good it's going to come in, but this is a grave of one of the ghosts. Mr. James S. Gordy. He was born in June of 1888. He passed away in September 25th, 1974. When the parapsychologist showed pictures of this man to the little girl, and she'd never seen pictures before, she'd only talked about him, she didn't, hadn't seen any pictures, she picked him out every time. It was a whole bunch of pictures, kind of like a lineup, and she picked him out. So my question is, because I've never seen anything done from this direction, this point, this is the grave of one of the ghosts who visited this child. So we're doing this from the point of the view from one of the ghosts, but this was, like I said, a good spirit that she was not afraid of. The story goes on and she continued to see spirits, but she saw bad spirits and dark spirits. And one man, a woman, I don't know, posted on a thread, and I really liked this post because the Bible talks about evil spirits and good spirits. It talks about spirits. Wouldn't you? God is a spirit. This is, you know, we have angels around us all the time. And this particular person said that Mr. Gordy and Mr. Khan, who was actually Lon, were good spirits. They were spirits of light because they showed their face and they talked to the little girl and they were not scary and they didn't frighten her and they played with her and they were kind to her. So after the baby was born and the dark spirits came, they didn't show their face and they were not kind and they began to experience other things such as being scratched and the, the daddy who kind of gave me the impression from what I've watched that he really didn't really believe it to start with but he made the statement he said well I don't care if she sees things that's okay she can see ghosts and she can talk to them and play with them I just don't want to see them but then after that baby was born and they began to experience things he began to being to be scratched at night with with deep scratch claw marks on his back and his sides and he three nights in a row he was scratched now exactly what happened mr gordy died of a good old age he was let's see 88 to 74. he lived a long life and uh his wife right beside him francis she lived for 90 years but this is the ghost. This was the first ghost from a haunting in Georgia. And this is the grave of the first ghost. Is he still a ghost? I don't know. I've never believed in ghosts. I'm just straight up. I've never believed in ghosts. However, when I listen to this story, I find it hard to not, not, not think something actually happened. Now, um, uh, I don't know how much I believe about parapsychology and their thought processes and all that. But I don't know what happened in this story. I do know, this was strange to me, that Heidi's daddy died in 2012. And he was uh, Andrew Jackson Wyrick. He died, he was about 45 years old. He was a young man and I can't find a cause of death. I found his obituary, he died at home. I can't find his cause of death. Family has moved out of the house and uh, they've been gone. I'm assuming, I think that his wife remarried. I do know that Heidi and her sister grew up and they both, well Heidi married and she had children of her own. So her parents had grandchildren. But back to this story, James Gordy was the ghost, was the first ghost I think she was the first ghost that Heidi met. Could I be wrong? I could be, maybe she saw him before then, but she's, he's the first ghost that she told anybody about. Now there's different stories, different places. Some say she met Con first, others say she met Mr. Gordy first. I'm just going by what I've read most is that she met Mr. Gordy first. So this is the grave of Mr. James Scarborough Gordy who was the first ghost from a haunting in Georgia. I'll put a link in the description below to a couple of the books and to the episode of Unsolved Mysteries that tells this story. There are a couple of things you can find on YouTube. Most of the people that I've read, most of the threads I've read, they say that the movie is too fictionalized and that it makes the family look 
bad. I haven't watched it. I probably won't watch it because I don't like horror movies. But these uh, documentaries, yeah, I watch those. And I don't know what I think. I'm just being honest, straight up. I don't know what I think. But I think it's really cool that I'm standing in front of the grave of the first ghost from a haunting in Georgia. And now I'm going to find another story. See y'all later.